Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Ooh, Bart. We got Kirkland 24 year space side sherry cask finish. Ooh, another Kirkland, and we're going to test it. Looks dark in the bottle, baby. Courtesy Eric Evans in style. Eric the Whiskey. <laughs> I, I don't know if that'll stick or not. It's like Eric the Red, you know. It doesn't Vikings. quite have you don't the, think so? Eric, Eric the, the whiskey. whiskey. You're right. It's too. What if, what if it's Eric the Ski? <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric the Ski. The cask. The cask. Eric the cask. We got to do something. We got a nickname. Yeah. Well, um, twenty four year. Again, we don't get Kirkland sure. whiskeys in our area. Okay. We've got a couple of fans that send us a lot of yes. stuff that comes out from Kirkland. They've got it in their areas. We've had very good whiskeys, especially for the price points. We talk about all that. Yeah. It's coming up, and Bart spills stuff. Well, I had a little water cleanse in there. A little water cleanse. When I spill things, he calls it shaking baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do this whole thing. We'll talk. Remind me at the end when I used to get my coffee kids temp. Yeah. We'll just come back to that later. Cherry cordials Ooh. was the first thing on the nose. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter though. On the thing, get a little bit more, a little bit of ashy, charred ash. Really? Boy, I'm, I'm not picking up ash. 46% if we didn't say it. Nice color. These are sourced. I think they're using Alexander and Murray Company, if I remember right, and it's mm. on there. Yep, Alexander Murray and Company. Mm. The nose is a little fainter. Yeah, than it I, is. I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was going to really be jumping out, and it's not. I would say. I mean, I almost got like little stone fruit kind of There's some, muted fruit. I mean, it's a, it's a little darker, mm -hmm. a little darker sweet, a little darker fruit, not necessarily pinning anything mm -hmm. down to that. But the finish, I get a nice plum or, or prune raisin. No, not quite raisin, plum. You already went in on the Oh, top. I did. I couldn't get much on the nose, so I dove in because it was, look at that. It says tasty on, right on it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is where, hmm. Yeah, I got a little bit of a uh, hmm. leather tobacco up front. Really, leather Dang. tobacco. Not getting that earthiness. Little vegetal notes going on. Darker fruits. Not real sweet yet. More, hmm. more like a drop of water. Very dry Oloroso cask. Hmm. Dry Oloroso cask. Now, it does use the word sherry finished on here, which sherry finished is a term for usually six to six months to two years finish in okay. a sherry I cask. I didn't know there was a, a for, time element. I just, yeah, and then you go into it, and then it's a maturation. Usually, if, if it's longer than two years, they'll label it a maturation. Really? Yeah. A finish hmm. is shorter. Okay, so, so two it, years or less, you pick Yeah, up. yeah. Is what the, I don't know if there's a hard line rule yeah. there. Hmm. Generally, if when they use the term a finish, it's shorter, six months to two years. And then you got your exclusively matured in, yeah. which means it's spent its whole life right. in there. Yeah. Got it. And this, I mean, this looks like it's a maturation to an exclusive maturation based on how dark it is. The, uh, the nose is still really muted. It is... And I, I mean, a, it's like a dry Oloroso wine finish. There are, it's not that sweet. Nope. It's darker. Still leathers and tobaccos. Left nostril picks up some kind of slight fruity sweetness, wine, wine sweetness. I expected more to, to be funneling out. Second sip, more of the sweetness now. Didn't get it on the first sip. More of the plums, mm -hmm. um, dates, raisin notes, tending towards Oloroso here. Mm. Um, I'm mm. going to guess they added color. Really? Just because 
as dark as this is, I think that sherry influence should be a lot more. This does feel like it's been 20 years, you know, or 20-ish years ex-bourbon and then a few years in a in a sherry cast just on the palate because it's not that fruity, fruity yeah. jumping out at no. you, grabbing you a sherry bomb type. Yeah, right. It's the, really, it's sweeter. It's a little bit lighter plum, on the notes. Yeah. I get these plump notes, but yeah, it's definitely not a sherry bomb. But I'm not getting a lot of vanillas or anything either. At that age, if it was, unless it was a real, if it was a multi-use ex-bourbon. Oh. What? What's it? It says something on it? Hold on just a second. Hold on. I'll make sure I'm reading. Well, oh, you I gotta got get some, glasses. I gotta get my glasses out. Cut that bad boy if you want. Hold on. Look at that. I know you're feeling, starting to feel I old. Know. I gotta take my glasses and do the old dad thing. Of course, I'm almost 52 now. It's probably about time. <laughs> This Kirkland Signature 24-year-old Speyside single malt scotch was aged in ex-bourbon barrels, then finished for a minimum of 30 months in Oloroso sherry casks. 30 months. So two and a half year finish. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, that'd be 21 and a half years ex-bourbon. Hmm. Um, yeah. Which is about, I mean, that's, I'm kind of surprised I was that close. Yeah. Well, I think that's what, some good things. Just the way it feels, it's not, you look, you look at that color and you're thinking, oh, this is going to be a sherry bomb. It's really going to take over the palate. It's going to have all thought, these nice yeah. Oloroso sherry right. notes. And it does, but they're way toned down. Yes. Um, they're just yep. lighter. It's sweeter. It's not a sherry bomb. This is, it's really a nice example of a, of a sherry finish. A great, you know, yeah. ex-bourbon cask finished in a sherry. Yeah. And they're saying right on there, sherry cask finish. So, I mean, that is interesting though. Hmm. But boy, would that scream at you from the shelf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. That's going to scream at you from the shelf there. I still like it. It's still a good whiskey. Just don't expect that sherry punch. That's good. That, that, you're, that you're probably going to expect looking at the color, looking at that 24 year So if you're paper. in Costco and you pull up our video and you just saw what we told you, maybe you're only buying one or two instead of a case. Ooh. What do you got there with the 23? This was the last one we did, the 23-year-old. Hmm. No, well, see, this one this one was ex-bourbon, it says, and then uh, a minimum of 22 months in Oloroso Sherry Castle, yeah. so a little less than two years. But I thought this one had a little bit more sherry influence in it than that one did. Hmm. I don't think we need to take a look at it, but... Okay, I was getting ready. Just to <laughs> I was like, let me rinse, let me rinse the glass. Um, yeah, I, you've nailed everything on it. So it's got those sherry notes in there. Mm -hmm. I picked up the plum, a uh, hint of raisin, definitely a little bit of prune even. But nose left me kind of searching, and it's not a bomb at all, mm -hmm. and color screams bomb. So interesting. This will be a good one to, for folks to watch before they purchase. Um, are you ready to score? Do you have some more to add? I would still go 90. Really? Yeah. I think it's it's breached that mark. 90 is my mark for really good whiskey. It's right there. Not much above it. Okay. I was an 86. I mean, it's not bad, but it just, I think part of it was with this color I yeah. was expecting. Well, and so I felt like it overpromised. Oh. Slightly underperformed. Gotcha. That was it. It's not bad though. It's good. Um, I kind of, with the years on it and the color, I was like, hmm. I thought you'd be wrestling with me for this one. <laughs> you can have it. No. Uh, $68.99 was the price on $69.70. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well worth it. Yeah. You're not going to find another 24-year right? single yeah. malt. It, well, and it's, it's a good whiskey. It's special, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. But it needs to be with its partner over there, with its buddy. <laughs> you need to put them together. They're calling out to each other. They're distant cousins. <laughs> All right. Now... Uh, we had a reference earlier. Um, do you want to, do you even remember what I referenced? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want to uh, offend anybody. Okay. What I was thinking. All right. Well, we don't need to. The, we can just let it lie there, too. The, the, yeah. Right. You want to just let her lie? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't think it's <laughs> bad. You would be get told in person. That's it. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. Okay. We'll just let her be. Let her be. It's up for interpretation. Yeah. It's up for interpretation. Somebody be offended. I Maybe was a, I was a shaken baby. <laughs> but that was part of the whole idea. Though, Don't was, laugh. Well, no, no. 
The whole idea with me, with, I used to, I didn't drink a lot of coffee. And then I started. But I didn't like it super hot. And so I would order the kids' tent. I got to go into it now that you said to shake and bake. I think it needs to be expanded because right. I wasn't really shaking. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. That was right. But it was the idea that you just said it to kind of throw them off a little bit. Yeah. And no, I didn't. I, I did not start saying You started saying that. <laughs> okay. We'll go with your your memory, then we'll go with it. Maybe I said it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, uh, maybe we should step away from it if you think we're offended. I, he gets the 51% defer. We got an earthquake going on something? I think there was. That was weird. I thought it was your chair for a second. No, I thought, I thought it was you at first. I thought, why are you moving around? <laughs> it was small. It was yeah. very minor. That but was weird. The wall was, yeah, look at the drape. Little bit. Well, just stopped. Yeah. But they were huh. lagging a little bit. Well. Be grabbing stuff. Ooh, grab yeah. that. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> How did he die? Covered in whiskey. <laughs> maybe it's because I said shake and whatever. You know, we shouldn't have brought it up. That was a story right there. Yeah, that's right there. Right. Stay tuned. Maybe we do yeah. the shake and maybe. We'll discuss if that's appropriate or not, and then right. maybe you get it in a future story. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Dummies. <laughs>